Good morning. Uh, I'm Jerome from Viking Life Saving Equipment. Um, we want to show just real quick how a life raft works, how you activate it, and what's the best way of using a life raft in a uh, case of emergency, um, and what things you have to look out of, uh, for, and also what sort of packs you have inside the life rafts, and what the importance of these packs are. My accent is a bit funny because I'm Dutch, so don't blame me, uh, blame my parents. Um, I will ask Nick, my colleague, he's our service technician who do the servicing of the life rafts, to activate the life raft. The boat's going down, you just chuck it over the side and then pull, pull the uh, painter line. The painter line is always about four or five meters, it depends a bit. Uh, this one is 10 meters, I think. 10 meters yeah. even. So you have to pull quite a lot. And here it comes. The importance is not forgetting to uh, get the line connected to your boat as well. Uh, because you don't want to activate the life raft, and then the life raft ends up somewhere else that you can't get into. Uh, the cylinder always has uh, a lot of extra air in it as well, so that's what you're hearing now. It's just the cylinder is uh, letting all the air out and uh, the valves on front, um, they just release the extra air. But normally you can see it's, it's, it's really hard. As soon as the overpressure is gone, it will stop um, uh, having this noise within it. So now with the line you can get it next to you, uh, next to your boat, and you can get in it. And that's yeah. the most important thing. Uh, get in as soon as possible in case of need. And inside, this is the, the, the entry where you normally get in if you are in the water. You, you, you get in this sort of a ladder, and then in here, uh, you have um, a pull ladder that you can use to, to get yourself in there. And if you can go even further in, here is the safety pack on the right side. In the safety pack, normally it depends a bit on what kind of life raft you have um, and what sailing area you have. If you're going only coastal water or you're gonna uh, do the big crossing, uh, then you also want some water or food and that kind of things included. There are several uh, emergency packs within the life raft, um, but this also uh, means that sometimes the life raft weighs more. You can have it installed in a container or in a valise. The one that we showed was in a valise. A lot of people like it because you can easily take it off your vessel and put it under a bench or something. Uh, the container is really nice because you can have it in a cradle and we have a, a hydrostatic release unit. Thank you. If it's in a cradle, normally you get it installed with a hydrostatic release unit. Um, those hydrostatic release units need to be replaced every two years. It, it has its dates on it and the year of, um, well, you can see this one is already overdone, but it's just to show. Um, this one is connected to the cables of the cradle and the life raft. So if the vessel goes down and you don't have time to activate it yourself, uh, don't worry because at a depth of more or less between two and four meters, uh, this little thingy cuts the rope and when the vessel is going down, it activates the life raft as well. So, and then the life raft uh, surfaces and you can go in as well. But that's of course in a situation you don't want to get into. You want to activate the life raft before the vessel is down, or at least we don't want the vessel going down at all. Um, but this is a very important one as well, if you have it in the cradle. And the cost of this is really not that much if you compare it to your life. We also have different life rafts. This one is just a standard. Uh, we call it UKL. We also got a UKSL. That means that the life raft, if you activate it in the water, it automatically writes itself up. So it has, um, like this one has only has this buoyancy here on the top to keep the canopy up. The other one has a round uh, buoyancy and it turns itself up in the water. Of course, not when people in it, but 
uh, before you go in it, it turns itself up and then you can go in it. You also got a, a live raft, it's for six persons, but it's only for coastal waters. Um, this is really very basic uh, and it's not well equipped as the, this one and the, the higher one. What can we discuss even further? Inside the safety package, there are a lot of things. We're on, um, here, for example, is a rescue koi. It's with a 30 meter line. So if you got a man overboard, um, or two people are already in and one people really struggle to get in, you can throw this out with the line and anchor him in or pull him in. Um, this one is the sea anchor. It's really important when activating the life raft and as, long, as soon as you're in, just throw the anchor in. It doesn't seem as much, but it, it more or less helps you to stay on the last place where you were. So for rescue uh, uh, parties, it's easier to, uh, to locate you in case um, of the emergency. Here we got a small pedal. You can use this, but um, I was, my, my words, I was stupid enough to use this one when I pulled the anchor already in the water. And then you can pedal whatever you want, but it doesn't go anywhere. So please be aware of that one. Don't get your anchor uh, out of it. First, uh, go uh, pedaling uh, on the place where you want to go. You can easily pedal to a person where you can go to. But as you can see, it's quite, uh, it's not small. And especially in rough waters when the uh, waves are high or a lot of winds, this isn't really easy. But it's just in case you need it, it's there. Within the safety pack, there's also some pyrotechnics, uh, some emergency water and normally also some emergency uh, food rations. I don't know if it's in this one, because it really depends on what kind of emergency pack you have, because there are so many. You also got uh, emergency pack for uh, racing sale, uh, uh, how do you say, uh, competition. And those people just want the, uh, the easiest and which weigh the less. But if you're gonna do the great crossing, you, you do want to have a complete safety package and even uh, food and water. Next to this package, you can also have a grab bag, uh, which we sometimes advise for as well. Um, a grab bag is just a small bag you have separate in your steering house or uh, somewhere safe that in case of emergency, before entering the live raft, you get that little grab bag with you and you just fill it with water and food and other things you want. For example, the pyrotechnics. Um, this is, for example, uh, a parachute rocket. And we also have hand flares and a small. This is the hand flare. And always, before using, just read real quick how it works because when you activate it, it, it is phosphor and it burns. So be careful with that as well. Um, this is a small hand pump. Normally it will stay this way for many, many hours, even days. Uh, but if needed, you can always uh, use the hand pump uh, to refill it a bit. A small signaling lamp within the, um, the life raft. Uh, we got uh, leak stoppers. So if you have a small leak, just winch it in. And uh, if it's bigger, yeah, then honestly, I don't know what to do. <laughs> because you don't want it to be bigger, but if it's small enough, you can just winch them in and uh, and then adjust it with the hand pump. You also got a little uh, whistle. Um, it's also very important when, of course, with leisure there isn't any regulations, but I always say before going in the life raft, put your life jacket and everything on as well, and it's quite logical but it's really important that you do so and when you have a life jacket make sure you got a whistle with you as well because you just want to be heard but normally in the life raft there is a whistle as well so um, for the people because you don't want to get sick when you're with people and you don't know when you got uh, rescued so you have some anti sea sickness tablets as well um, and those ones you can easily get in the grab bag as well it's, I think even you can get them from the local pharmacy if, if needed. Um, 
and just get them, take them uh, before you go in as well. Uh, or when you're in, just take them right away because you don't want to get ill. A small signaling mirror, uh, just use with the sun, uh, do some signaling if needed. A uh, little sponge for to get water. And this one is very important as well. It's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit big, to be honest. Um, but it has the instructions of uh, life saving and also the instruction of signaling um, and all the things are written on there in several languages as well. So it's really um, important that you know about signaling. But normally you're already aware of that before you go on sea. But it's, it's a handy tool uh, if you are in distress to, to, to look at and you're sure that you use the right signaling as well. Here is, oh yeah, that's almost what I forgot. When you activate it, um, and it's still stuck to the vessel, of course you don't want to go down with the vessel, so you cut it uh, with this knife. And this knife is also attached in the life raft, so it's just going, um, uh, getting the knife and cut it through. And then you're, uh, you're away. Um, and of course those life rafts, when you are finally in it, you want to close it down right away because you don't want to get water in it, you don't want to get any, uh, uh, any further problems. And now it's, yeah, just, you got the top light, the small light, which also uh, makes it easier for the rescue forces to, uh, to get a hold of you. And those life rafts are really, um, it depends a bit. Some life rafts we advise one year, but it's also really, a service, but it also really depends on the flex state of your vessel. You really know, have to know about your flex state because you've got international ruling, but the flex state always overrule that international ruling as well. For example, in Spain, you have to do an annual service also on leisure life rafts. I think MCA is two years, three years even. In the Netherlands, it's also three years, but I know some flex states are also two years. So you just want to be sure that you are that you know what your flex state and what your flex flex state recommendations are because it's really important and sometimes even flex states advise on what kind of pack uh, safety pack you want to have inside of your life raft. Um, we can always advise people on the best uh, emergency packs to go in the in the life raft, but it's of course always your decision what you want. Um, if I'm going the Great Crossing, I would like to have everything possible, just peace of mind. Just to be sure that you have everything uh, in the reach. We have a small table over there uh, where my colleagues, will, um, including myself, will be all day. So if you have any further questions or any questions technically or about servicing or whatever you come up with regarding life rafts, emergency suits, uh, life jackets or whatever to do with life saving equipment, uh, we are more than happy to help you and, and uh, speak to you about it and give some further explanation about, uh, uh, about this equipment. Thank you so much for your attention. And hopefully you have a nice day and uh, hopefully the sun come out. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. Thank you.